What is programming and why do we need programs? If you try to Google these terms, you will end up having so many definitions that could be all correct. The definition I'm going to go with aligns with upcoming video tutorials when we uncover the concepts of the four main industrial programming languages. Programming is used in different kinds of industries. A program can be a small application that runs from your smartphone or it could be used to run and control a big manufacturing plant or process automation. A programming could be considered an attempt to solve problem. And the best approach we are going to follow in solving or building programs to solve any problem would be by breaking this problem down into minor problems. In big projects and complex applications, usually it's hard to build a solution for that problem if you deal with it as one big huge unit. On the other side, it would be much easier to focus on these minor or smaller problems and develop solutions for them. As you proceed, you are going to discover that the cumulative solutions for these minor problems will add up and will form one big solution for the big problem. But based on this simplification, it would be really important to understand the system that's, that you are trying to build or you're trying to control. In other words, you need to understand what are the inputs involved, what are the outputs involved, and how the inputs are actually controlling the outputs. After this simplification and system recognition, we need to move ahead to the next step and set up a plan or a solution. In technical words, we need to start building an algorithm. The final step would be by creating a program. And regardless of any language, the program could be defined as a sequence of instructions written to solve the problem and to do a specific task. As you can see over here, the keyword is instructions. And the upcoming videos, what we are going to see in each one of the four main industrial programming languages, what we will learn first are the main and basic instructions that are used in each language. And this is going to help us develop solutions using these languages.